That's right. Well, the sheriff's office says that this is a law that is highly effective, but is very much being underutilized. They want to spread awareness with a new campaign for anyone out there who is fearful of someone in possession of a gun, hurting someone or even hurting themselves. Now today, the sheriff displayed some of the guns that they've recovered when these restraining orders have been filed. Deputies have filed about a dozen of these orders that have led to the recovery of nearly 100 firearms. The sheriff says family members, roommates and police officers can file one of these orders. There will be about 57 campaign signs spreading awareness of the law across Cook County. The sheriff says the process to file one of these restraining orders is simple, but it does start online by filling out a form before going to court. He gave an example of how useful this tool can be when dealing with potential gun violence. Just last year, we had an incident where we went to a house where there was a very bad domestic violence case that had occurred and someone had been very hurt very badly. The individual, when he was taken into custody, the, the victim told us there were guns in the house. We could not get consent to go in the house, though. We then went into court, and when we went into court, we got one of these orders, and when we went in the house, we got 29 weapons out of that house. So this is something that has real impact on real people, and it's just such a valuable tool. Now, the sheriff does say that there is a 14 day window where the person whose guns are being taken away can come to court. They can ask for a hearing and dispute the order. Live in Maywood, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News.